Radio Romania International. You are listening to our one-hour broadcast in English for listeners in Western Europe and Japan. We can also be heard on the internet at www.rri.ro channel 1. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and other social media platforms. Our programs are also available on TuneIn, Radio Romania International 1, and via satellite Eurosat 16A on 11, 5, 12, 11, vertical polarization, argument 16 degrees 8, symbol rate 29, 950, mega symbol per second, standard DVB S2, modulation 8 PSK, audio PID 510. Hello, this is Daniel Bills with the news, the headlines. Romania's Immigration Department registered 40 asylum applications on Friday. Romania has a national stand at the International Travel Fair taking place in Madrid until Sunday. And the day celebrating the union of the Romanian principalities will be marked by the representations of the Romanian Cultural Institute in Chisinau, Rome, Warsaw, Venice, Istanbul and Vienna. Romania's immigration department on Friday registered 40 asylum applications. Most of these, 24, were filled by citizens from Bangladesh. The General Inspectorate for Immigration has also issued 394 permits for those who applied for temporary protection, out of which 388 for Ukrainian nationals. Last year, 4,398 Ukrainian citizens applied for asylum in Romania and they benefit from all the rights stipulated in the national legislation. The total number of Ukrainians who entered Romania since the beginning of the invasion is around 3.5 million. Almost 29% of the accommodation facilities for these refugees have been occupied. Romania boasts a national stand at the International Travel Fair taking place in Madrid until Sunday. The stand has been developed by the Ministry of Entrepreneurship and Tourism jointly with several field associations and is promoting cultural trips, rural tourism and city break packages. Among other things, the Romanian program also includes meetings with relevant players from the public and private tourist sector with a view to introducing Romania's touristic potential to Spain. At the same time, the fair is a good opportunity of promoting the city of Timisoara as European capital of culture in 2023. The day celebrating the union of the Romanian principalities will be marked by the representations of the Romanian Cultural Institute in Chisinau, Rome, Warsaw, Venice, Istanbul and Vienna. The Romanian Cultural Institute in Chisinau stages a scientific event devoted to 164 years since the union of the Romanian principalities Moldova and Wallachia. The Romanian Institute of Culture and Humanistic Research in Venice is staging a conference meant to emphasize the cordial Romanian-Italian relations during the rule of Alexander Ioan Cusa, 1859-1866, and the symmetric destiny of the two peoples in the process of completing their national unity. The Accademia di Romagna in Rome is also celebrating the Union Day with a film screening about the portrait of Romanian ruler Alexander Ioan Cusa made by photographer Karol Pop of Satmari. The Romanian Cultural Institute in Warsaw will be screening on the YouTube platform a film with Polish subtitles entitled The 1859 Union of the Romanian Principalities directed by Radu Gaina. The Romanian Cultural Institutes in Istanbul and Vienna are also screening films about the aforementioned union and the personality of ruler Alexandru Ioan Cusa. The European Commission has approved a 44 million euro assistance package for the cattle breeders in Romania. 
The government in Bucharest has proposed a support scheme against the backdrop of the war Russia is presently waging on Ukraine. The aforementioned scheme consists of direct grants aimed at offsetting the effects of the latest price hikes in energy, fuel and fodder and helping the farmers to overcome the financial difficulties caused by the present geopolitical crisis. The aid, which exceeds 250,000 euros per farmer, will be granted until December the 31st of this year. And now to end this news bulletin, here is a special announcement. On February 13th, we mark World Radio Day. The fifth edition is themed Radio and Peace. War as an antony to peace signifies an armed conflict between countries or groups within a country, but may also translate into a conflict of media narratives. The narrative can increase tensions or maintain conditions for peace in a given context. Since wars begin in the minds of men, it is in the minds of men that the defenses of peace must be constructed. On World Radio Day 2023, we invite you, dear friends, to send us short written or voice messages illustrating this theme, Radio and Peace. We are looking forward to receiving your contributions at engl at ri.ro or on WhatsApp at 0040744312. 650. The most interesting of them will be included in special editions of our programs or will be posted on our social media.